It's amazing what type of inspiration we can find on both sides, both animals at work or animals at home. We, as veterinarians, I think always take our work home, but for my wife and I, bringing our work home has actually been our animals. We have uh, eight current animals and four dogs and four cats, nice balanced Brady Bunch type of thing. Uh, it could easily go up from that because it's so easy to want to bring home everything that you can save that doesn't have an owner. I'm Michael Rex Lappin from Colorado State University. I work here in the Department of Clinical Sciences in the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. My Center for Companion Animal Studies has had a lot of different interactions with Nestle Purina Pet Care over the last uh, 10 to 12 years. We focused most of our work with their probiotic, the Enterococcus faecium strain SF68 that Nestle had been studying for years that ultimately then became a product in the Perina line called Fortiflora. They wanted to know if I felt that there was something that we could do with Fortiflora in cats. That was an easy yes for me. One of the first studies that we did in shelters was with cats with diarrhea. Diarrhea can be a devastating problem, obviously, for the cat. People don't want to adopt cats that are currently having diarrhea. And so we came up with a design using Bordiflora with the help of the scientists at Nestle Purina. And it was one of the more satisfying studies I think that I've actually ever done because all we basically needed to do was feed cats and we were able to show that the diarrhea rates dropped from about 20% to about 7%. Strongly statistically significant. We've been very, very fortunate to be able to help many, many shelter animals in the name of science because we're turning that natural treatment need into data that then helps other animals. If we can lessen diarrhea in a shelter, we can probably really do a bang-up job uh, with client-owned animals.